Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. I'm from a very cold and wet London. Cold, wet, and windy London evening. Uh, watch of the day that I've been playing with is a very, very nice 60s accurist. Lovely, lovely old watch. Anyway, let's uh, uh, bought this off of eBay. Um, Oh dear, I hear you say, oh dear, 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 how sad. How sad indeed. So what are we going to do with it? Well, I'm hoping it's going to be, or was, was hoping it was going to be a um, simple enough repair, but as with all of these repairs, you know, I think it's going to have to be a full strip down. So we will pop it out of the case and we'll have a look. Part of the job lot I bought was this lovely little tool. A lovely Swiss made hand puller. So I'm going to give this one a try. I do have two of them. That's got three of them now. So we give this one a run out today. This is a nice old watch, screw cased, back and front. You're pulling these out, lift the crown. Balance swing is alright, gives me hope. thing that is a bit concerning about this is the fact that the screws feel quite loose. It's almost as if someone's uh, been here before, but we'll see. see a bit better now that hand looks a bit twisted I go through I'll fix all this watch and you know what'll happen I'll go straight in there and it'll snap no oh, no I know what you're thinking you got no faith Dave oh no like this really I came off well I 
wonder if I'll need to. I might not need to do as much as I thought, you know. I was thinking it was going to have to be a major strip down. See how loose that screw is? Someone's been in here and played about with this before me. It's practically loose. I don't know, I'm just surmising that. I don't know. But it does seem strange. Uh -huh. That's a lovely, lovely dial. Look at that. Bit worn around the USA bit, but super super clean. Now what I was thinking was that because the barrel fits underneath the hour hand, I was thinking. Oh, I'm going to have to strip it all down but I'm wondering oh, I don't think there's enough room I was hoping I was hoping I was hoping that this hour wheel would lift enough underneath this bridge but I don't think it will I don't think it will so what I'm going to do is remove the cannon pinion which again came off too easy for my liking came off too easy for my liking but what we'll do We will try then we're about lefty loosey righty tighty or not with this screw it's the complete opposite Imagine this is at a clean or a service. In a good few years. Seem to want to move. Ooh. I was really hoping not to have to strip this right down, but that's something holding that. That's really tight. I 
That's really weird. I can't think what's holding that. Oh well. Nothing for it, I'm afraid. It's going to have to be the full, the full strip down. I so could have done without doing this. I really could. But hey ho. Such is life, isn't it? That one's come out with that one stuck in it. That's your uh, escape wheel, all looking very nice. the hour wheel and let's take the third wheel so now that still doesn't want to come out do you know what I am so clumsy you just know my big fat finger I've come this far You just know that my big fat finger would just end up mullering that. So I'm going to put that right up there out of the way of everything. Now there's not much I can earn now. So why is it you think that doesn't want to come out? I mean that should just fall out. I was being pretty brutal with that, you know. <laughs> and there we go. And all the rest of it came with it. So there we go. So what are we going to find in here? I have no idea. Drop of medicine. fit very well. I'm going to try and do is just push it out but working on this you see it's all very nice for the washes but it's very very springy back of an old clock So it didn't go too far. Just out of sight over here. Come back. Come back. I'll get the other piece in a minute. 
put it the other piece in a minute. Well, as you can see, it uh, was definitely broken. They weren't fibbing. Not that for one minute I thought they were. your eyes when you do these. They can be pretty unforgiving things. They certainly can. Well, we know what we're going to do with that. That's me. There's me uh, doodle. There it is. Uh, no good. Yeah, another one that's no good, broken out. Don't know if that one's got anything in it. Looks like it might be complete. Another one completely broken. I don't know why I bother to keep all these because they're absolutely no good to man or beast. Another one that's broken. Aha! What's that little fella lurking? Aha! So. We have, I wonder if that one was complete as well, don't know, don't know, don't care now, I've got some to be getting on with. Bang. 
So you can't see very much of this, but trust me, it's happening. not over the hole. That's why it wasn't going down folks. Didn't have it over the hole. It shimmied around too much. It's done it again, hasn't it? Oh there we go. We're in. So there we're through that side, we're in there, all we need to do now is rotate this a bit, it's not moving it, you're not seeing it so good are you? Well you can see the position and then it fell out. Now I can't press it in because my fat fingers in the way. There we go, we're in. We're in the hole now. We're where we need it to be. Just give me a second to get it right. So there we have it. Let's see if I can get it in a nice close up for you. It will focus. Don't know if it will. Yeah, there you go. So you can see it's in. All we need to do is line up that little square with. square hole so we're all right to just push it back in. Click and there you go. So that's enough for this video. We'll do a part two on this one. Keep you interested. But hopefully that's gonna be the repair that it needed. Now we've got to do is put it back together and that can be part two.